Hey, sixth graders, welcome to SDVS and welcome to English class. In this video, I'm going to quickly explain your novel study for this semester. First step is to actually choose a novel. Um, that's the easy part. So if you look down here below, uh, you've got six different choices. Harry Potter, The Secret Garden, Frendel, Holes, Maniac McGee, and Esperanza Rising. Each one of these is your are your options um, and you need to choose from this list. If you look, see how they're all written in blue with an underline? You probably know this already, but that means it's actually a link to another site. So let's say I wanted to choose Harry Potter. I would click on that and on this assignment, it actually takes you to the physical actual PDF copy online of the entire book. So you can actually read it all online by using these links. If you prefer to read a hard copy from the library or if you have a copy of one of these at home, you can do that too. Whatever is your preference or whatever you can most easily do. Once you've done that, you're going to type in your choice right here where it says the novel I have chosen is, and then you'll submit this assignment and boom, that will be done. All right, so then the next thing, so here's all the options. Again, um, they're all really good options. And if you've read it before, that's totally fine. Uh, you can read it a second time. Let's say you've read Harry Potter before. That's fine. But you do need to read it during the semester again. And you'll see why um, once you see this assignment. Okay, so once you've submitted your choice, uh, you start reading. And here's what this next slide says. It says directions. After you've completed unit one of your class, and read a few chapters in your novel, you'll fill in the following slides. So all you need to do on the very first slide of each unit is to insert an image. And in the first case, it's always inserting an image of your novel. You can just do a simple Google search, or you can take a picture of your actual book and insert that here in this first slide. So again, it's best to read during the first unit of lessons, which are usually four or five lessons, and then you'll complete um, the next few slides. Here's some helpful hints on how to complete these. Fill in every slide. This is an example down below of what they look like. Um, again, use blue links that are underlined. That's always a link to a hint or to an outside resource. So there's a couple, for example, on this slide. Um, and then make sure you write in complete sentences. This is English class, so we're looking for good answers that make sense, that are written well, and that start with a capital and end with a period. Um, and since it's a Google slide show, there's no reason you should have any grammar mistakes or mistakes in spelling, okay? All right, so the last steps, let me show you here, will be uh, to share with an English teacher. So again, anything that's underlined means it's a link you can share with either myself, I'm Mrs. Bryant, or with the other English teacher, Mrs. Abriani. Um, that way we can review it and let you know if you've gotten everything correct, and we can help you make edits so that you get an A on this assignment. Then you'll download it as a PDF and submit. So real quick, in case you don't know how to do that, let's say you filled in all these slides here. I'll go to File, Download, PDF. Hopefully you see that. When you do that, it's easy to upload this assignment in Play-Doh and get your final grade. Doing this will unlock uh, your actual next unit. So in order to move on in English class, you have to complete this step. So that's that should tell you how important this assignment is. The good thing is everything on these is related to what you just learned in your class. So it will actually help you with your tests and it'll actually help you understand um, what, uh, your, you, what your unit was about. <laughs> so anyway, again, I hope this made sense and hope it was a little helpful. Um, and hopefully you will enjoy doing your novel study. Okay. All right. If you need anything, reach out to those teachers, myself or to Ms. Abriani, but good luck and I hope you enjoy your book.